By the end of this video, you'll know how to set up a basic hypno screen space effect on your avatar. So first things first, we have to decide where we want to put the hypno effect. We can go ahead and put it on anywhere on our avatar that has a bone. So for example, we can put it on the hands, the feet, the, the head, and then the hips, wherever. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be putting it on the right hand here. So let's go ahead and find that bone of the right hand. It's going to be right around here. There we go. Hand R. Let's right click, 3D object, and add a cube. Yep. And now this is about the right size for the cube. You don't want it to be too small or too big. You want it just about this, right, essentially. Position it to where you want the center of this to be. So I kind of want it around there. It's kind of floating off the hand a little bit. And now let's apply a hypno a screen space material to this. We have some already available to you in the screen space DLC materials folder right here. So we can go ahead and just drag one in on the cube. As you can see, it already is working fine. Now you can go ahead and also convert an existing normal hypnoized material into a screen space material just by essentially selecting that material, setting the variant to screen space, and then dragging it onto the cube. If yours isn't fading in like this, you're going to want to set the rendering mode to the dithered transparency and then set up the fade in right here so that it kind of looks like this essentially. And now you can go ahead and upload this. But the thing is that the screen space effect is always going to be there on your right hand. So you're going to want to set up some kind of toggle using like an animation clip or something in your animator. You can also use VRC Fury, which is what I'll be doing now. So with VRC Fury, I'm just going to add a toggle component, set the menu path to screen space, add an action to object toggle the cube. So it's going to be turning it on. And we can go ahead and disable this before uploading, or we can go ahead and add an apply during upload, add action, object toggle, turn off and drag the cube in. This apply during upload thing is just going to make sure that our cube is off, just so we don't make any mistakes uh, when working with our avatar later on and forget to turn the cube off while up uh, before uploading. But yeah, that's about it. We can go ahead and test this in VR chat now. Now in VR, let's open up our radial. As you can see, we have a screen space toggle right here. And if we turn it on, it turns it on. Of course, our hand is too close to our viewport right now. So it's always on for us in the video in the, um, you know, in our viewport. But if we take the camera out and start to get closer to the hand, as you can see, it fades in and fades out with respect to distance. So you can go ahead and shove this in people's faces now. And see, that's about it. Have fun.